On December 8, 2024, the Sun reminded us of its immense power. A massive X-class solar flare erupted from a sunspot known as AR3912, sending a shockwave of energy toward Earth. X-class flares are the most intense category of solar flares capable of disrupting technology and causing chaos on Earth. This particular flare was impulsive, meaning it exploded suddenly with little warning, releasing a surge of electromagnetic radiation and a coronal mass ejection. But what does this mean for us on Earth? Within minutes of the flare's eruption, high-energy radiation collided with Earth's upper atmosphere, particularly over southern Africa. The result? A temporary radio blackout in the region. High-frequency communication systems, vital for aviation, maritime navigation and emergency services, were affected as the radiation ionized the upper atmosphere, effectively cutting off transmissions. But that wasn't the only concern. The coronal mass ejection accompanying the flare, a massive burst of charged particles, began its journey toward Earth. CMEs move much slower than radiation, traveling at hundreds to thousands of kilometers per second, but they have the potential for even more significant disruption. If directed at Earth, they can trigger geomagnetic storms capable of damaging power grids, satellites, and even internet infrastructure. Luckily, this CME wasn't aimed directly at our planet, sparing us from severe consequences. But what if it had been? Solar flares like this one remind us of our vulnerability to the sun's unpredictable activity. Events like the December 8th flare occur because of magnetic instabilities in sunspots, dark regions on the sun's surface with intense magnetic energy. When the magnetic fields twist and snap, they release enormous amounts of energy, often in the form of flares and CMEs. The December 8th event was relatively mild in its impact, but history warns us of the dangers of stronger solar events. In 1859, the Carrington event, the largest recorded geomagnetic storm, caused global telegraph systems to fail and lit up auroras as far south as the Caribbean. Today, with our reliance on technology, a similar event could cause widespread power outages, satellite damage, and economic loss on a global scale. Fortunately, scientists are constantly monitoring the sun's activity to better predict these events. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory and the European Space Agency's Solar Orbiter are dedicated to observing the sun's surface, magnetic fields, and solar flares in real time. These missions act as early warning systems, allowing governments and industries to prepare for potential impacts. Still, some flares, like the December 8th eruption, occur so suddenly that predicting them remains a challenge. This is why scientists are also working on strengthening Earth's infrastructure, from shielding satellites to creating more resilient power grids. Solar flares are explosive releases of energy from the sun's surface, but not all flares are created equal. Scientists categorize them into a system ranging from A to X. Think of it like grades in school. A is barely passing, while X is that overachiever who doesn't just break the curve, but the whole system. A-class flares are so weak they barely register, while B and C-class flares are like gentle sparks, often going unnoticed, except by solar observatories. Moving up, M-class flares are where things start to get interesting. They pack enough punch to cause regional disruptions, like brief radio blackouts. And then there's the X-class, the sun's version of I mean business. These are the most powerful, capable of affecting the entire planet, disrupting satellites and even damaging power grids. The December 8th, 2024 solar flare. An X-class. It wasn't just powerful, it was impulsive, meaning it erupted suddenly with little warning. Here's where things get fascinating. When a solar flare erupts, it sends electromagnetic radiation like X-rays and ultraviolet light racing towards Earth at the speed of light. 
This radiation slams into our upper atmosphere, particularly the ionosphere, which is a region filled with charged particles. Under normal conditions, the ionosphere reflects radio waves, enabling long-distance communication. But during a solar flare, the sudden burst of radiation ionizes the atmosphere further, creating a flood of charged particles that interfere with radio signals. It's like trying to talk in a room full of static. On December 8th, that's exactly what happened over southern Africa. High-frequency radio signals used by airplanes, ships and emergency services were disrupted. Imagine being mid-flight or navigating a ship through rough waters, only to have your communication systems suddenly go silent. And it's not just radio signals. Solar flares can also interfere with GPS accuracy, making navigation tricky and even temporarily disable satellites. If the flare is strong enough and paired with a coronal mass ejection, CME, it can disrupt power grids and damage electrical systems. The December 8th event was a stark reminder of how interconnected we are with the Sun. As we approach the peak of Solar Cycle 25 in 2025, events like this are expected to become more frequent. And while this flare's impact was limited to a regional blackout, the potential for something larger looms. This isn't just science fiction. In 1989, a geomagnetic storm caused by a solar flare knocked out Quebec's entire power grid. The Carrington event of 1859, the most powerful solar storm on record, would likely cause trillions of dollars in damage if it occurred today. So, while solar flares are awe-inspiring displays of cosmic power, they're also reminders of our planet's vulnerability and the importance of preparing for the sun's next move. What would happen if an X-class flare aimed directly at Earth? It's a question worth considering as we continue to study and adapt to our sun's fiery temperament. While the solar flare of December 8, 2024 had a mild impact on Earth, mainly affecting radio communications in southern Africa, it highlights the potential for much larger disruptions. This event serves as a reminder of the sun's unpredictable power and its ability to affect our daily lives especially as we become more reliant on satellite communication, GPS and electrical systems. Despite the relatively minor impact this time, it's important to remember that the event still serves as a warning. Solar flares, especially those in the X-Class range, have the potential to cause far-reaching disruptions if they're aimed directly at Earth. These solar storms can interfere with satellite communications, GPS systems, power grids, and even cause mass internet outages. The December 8th flare was a mere glimpse into what might happen if the sun's outbursts grow stronger. With the sun approaching the peak of its 11-year solar cycle in 2025, experts are predicting an uptick in solar activity, during solar maximum, the number of sunspots increases, leading to more frequent and intense solar flares. While these events are natural and part of the sun's regular activity, our increasing dependence on space-based technology makes us more vulnerable to their effects. Solar activity, including flares and CMEs, can disrupt not only communication systems, but also power grids, which are vital for modern life. For instance, a powerful solar storm could induce electrical currents in power lines, potentially damaging transformers and other equipment. In extreme cases, this could lead to widespread power outages lasting for days, weeks or even months in some regions. In addition to that, the risk to satellites cannot be overstated. These spacecraft are integral to everything from weather forecasting to military communication and financial systems. A significant solar flare can damage their electronics, rendering them useless and causing major disruptions in services we often take for granted. Moreover, astronauts in space are also at risk. Solar flares emit radiation that could be harmful to astronauts traveling outside of Earth's protective atmosphere. 
space missions would need to be carefully monitored to avoid exposure to dangerous radiation levels. As solar activity intensifies, it is likely that we'll see more frequent solar flares and CMEs, making it critical to prepare for their effects. While we've made significant advances in space weather forecasting, there's still much to learn about predicting and mitigating the impacts of these events. Understanding how to protect our infrastructure, like power grids and satellite systems, is key to minimizing damage. Additionally, research into space weather is accelerating, with missions like NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory and the European Space Agency's Solar Orbiter continually gathering data to improve forecasting models. These tools help scientists better understand solar behavior and offer warnings when flares and CMEs are likely to strike. So, while the December 8th flare was mild in its consequences, it stands as a valuable lesson. The sun's potential to disrupt life on Earth is real, and as we look toward the future, it's clear that we need to be ready for whatever the sun has in store. The next big solar event may be just around the corner,